Nuclear reactors. So many different designs, but they all use the same fuel in the same way, and that can lead to a problem. So we're going to fix that problem today. If you give them fuel, they're going to burn the fuel, regardless of them already being at maximum temperature. So we need to implement some logic to stop it from getting fuel if the temperature is already high enough. And this can serve us a huge amount. We're going to save between 50 and 80% of the fuel. So step one, let's slap down a decider combinator. Now they have two arrows on them to show the input and output of the logic signal. I'm going to use a green wire to connect the nuclear reactor to the input. And now it's got a wire on it, the reactor now has the circuit connection options on the top right. I'm going to set read fuel and read temperature. When we click on the combinator, we can see what's coming in on those signals bottom left. I'm going to set my first condition, which is going to be the letter T, which is the temperature. And I want it to be less than 520 degrees because we need a minimum 500 for the reactor to work and provide power. Then on the output side, I'm going to pick something random. I'm going to use a green tick and I'm going to set it to one. That's just a random signal that's now coming out of this combinator, which I'm going to connect to the inserter, which moves the fuel. The inserter now has circuit conditions, so let's hit the enable and then we're going to choose that tick signal and set it to equals one. So if the combinator says it's OK, this inserter will see that green tick and that will allow the inserter to move fuel into the reactor for me. It's currently enabled because it says waiting for items. Now it's disabled because of the circuit logic. So we know that works, but we need to go back to the combinator. We're not done in there just yet. If we leave it at less than a certain temperature, it's just going to keep stacking fuel in any time the reactor is cold. So we need another condition as well. I'm going to add a new condition for the nuclear fuel itself. And we're going to set fuel equals zero. Now we've still got an output because we're currently set to or on the conditions. So we need to swap that to and. And now there's no output because we don't have a cold reactor with no fuel. That's what the inserter is now looking for. Now it's had a fuel go in it that gives it a load of heat. It's still using that. So that still counts as one fuel. Be aware of that. So I'm just going to skip forward to that fuel is all used up so you can see what happens. And as we see that energy from the fuel run out, the inserter is now going to put more fuel in for us. But you're going to see there's a problem with that because it's going to put in three pieces of fuel. That's because we've done research for extra stack capacity on our inserters. So we need to open the inserter, set override stack size and set it to one. So only one piece of fuel moves at a time. And don't be that guy. Don't forget the inserter to output the spent fuel. Thanks all for watching. I hope you found that stuff on Logic useful. I hope you're going to be able to implement that and get your reactors more efficient. Cheers.